welcome to this episode in this episode we are looking at question 12 from the 2021 gce mathematics paper 2 and question 12 leads the points a b c and d are on the surface of the earth as shown in the following diagram take pi as 3.142 r 6 southern 370 kilometers or 3437 nautical miles Lemma numero 1a determine the difference in longitude between points a and b so that's the first thing question of a so what we need to understand is uh, let us just zoom in so that we're able to see clearly as i explain so point a and c so point A and C, this point and this point, they lie on the same longitude, okay, which is the green which meridian. Similarly, point B and D, they lie on the same uh, longitude. A and B, they lie on the same latitude, which is uh, this uh, latitude. Then uh, C and D, they lie on the equator. So for us to know the difference, so what it means between A and B, what we should think of is, is like this. So this is also the, the center. So this angle subtended here by uh, point A, which is on latitude, on, on longitude, as same as C, and the point B, which is on the lo same longitude as D, they are the same. So if this is 80, if this is 85, this is also 85. So in that case, what you notice here is the difference in longitude between a and d, b is the same as the difference in longitude between c and d which is basically 85 okay so basically that's how you get that one mark as simple as that then uh a loma numero two calculate the distance between points c and d along the equator in the nautical mouse so basically we are being requested to find required to find this perimeter so this is just part of the entire perimeter of the circle. So you see the part of subtended by 85 degrees. So for us to find, we need to know the, the formula for perimeter. So the formula for perimeter is basically equal to perimeter of a circle is 2 pi r. Now because it's part of the circle, it's not a complete. So a complete circle has 360 degrees. So we're just getting this, this part on it out of the entire so for us to get that part what we need to find is so cd the distance will be basically the angle subtended by this circle which is this angle this so this is theta so which is basically in this case theta over 360 multiplied by 2 pi r which is the radius so we are finding in nautical mouse so we are getting basically 85 which is this angle over 360 then multiply by 2 multiply by 3.142 then multiply by the radius in nautical miles which is this capital R so we have 34,437 then we can use our calculator remember calculators are allowed in uh, paper 2 then we can enter those numbers and calculate then we should be able to find the answer okay you should be able to find the answer quickly without uh, wasting so much time and what we we'll discover is we we'll, we'll find about uh, five uh zero five thousand nine nine point five five which is basically to three decimal places it just becomes uh fifty one thousand or five thousand uh becomes just because of space let me come here it becomes basically five thousand one hundred not call mouse as our answer so this is our answer on party a 5100 not call mouse to three decimal three significant figures to three significant figures okay let us go to b so b is asking us to find the distance between b and d between b and d here you see again this is along the longitude okay it's a complete circle so there is no cost okay then what you notice here is this difference, the angle subtended by this. Remember, a, a longitude is a complete circle. Okay, it's a complete circle, which has the entire of uh, the radius of the circle. So now, but this one is asking us in nautical miles. In nautical miles. So we are finding 
be the along uh, lat longitude n b d s okay in kilometer n b d s along that in kilometers so you see that one so what we do is basically we we use the same formula similar formula so in this case now it will be bd okay bd remember the, the other one we found cd so bd will be equal to basically the angle subtended this over 360 then multiply by 2 pi r because it's a complete circle so there is no it's a completely a circle which is which has the, the 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 radius of the earth there is no need for us to use the course the course comes in if it's along the latitude so in this case the angle subtended is this one okay so we have 52 degrees over 360 then we multiply by 2 then multiply by 3.142 then multiply by now this is in kilometers so we use a 63 uh 70 okay 6370 as our radius then we multiply once we multiply remember calculators allowed you multiply you will end up with basically 5781.978 but we need to write this to three significant figures so this is the first second third so this is just the one which is we cannot see add the another one on eight so it just becomes five thousand eight hundred five five thousand seven hundred eighty kilometers so if this was uh five or above we're going to add the one on eight so that it becomes five thousand seven hundred and ninety but since it's a one we don't add anything so basically this is how you answer this one to get the three marks okay so that's party uh, a let us move to party Part B. Okay, let us move to part B. So part B, part B leads the following diagram shows a first term, first term of a coin. Okay, let us move to part B. So part B leads the following diagram shows a first term of a coin, the lead, the lead eye of the circle at the top and the bottom are 1.5 cm and 5 cm respectively. Its height is 5 cm. Calculate the volume of the flash term. Okay. So, one thing that we need to understand is it's important that we know the formula. So, there are two ways of solving this. But for now, I'm going to use uh, just a shortcut there so that you don't waste so much time. But there is a video that I'll do, a separate video where I'll look at two methods so that you should be able to choose on your own which one is faster. So the volume F is given by basically one third, okay, one third, then pi, then you multiply by the height. What's the height? So the height is this height. Uh, up to the time we see it's cut. Then you multiply now by the radius, the base radius, you see which is r square then plus the radius on top the smaller one which is small r square then plus then the base you multiply this 5 multiplied by the small which is like that then you can use a calculator from there 1 over 3 then multiply by what's the pi then you can substitute for pi so that we don't waste time so multiply by 3.142 okay 3.142 which is this one then multiply by height what's the height 7 centimeter then multiply by uh the the bigger radius which is 5 square plus the small radius 1.5 square then plus 5 multiplied by 1.5 like this so you multiply that once you multiply that remember calculators are allowed so calculators are allowed so you just enter those in the calculators then at the end of the day what you discover is you end up with 254.76 if you do correctly okay then to three significant figures to three significant figures this becomes the first significant figure second third then because the one next to four is above five you will need to add a one there so it becomes a two five five 
centimeter cube because you see the volume so basically this is how you answer question 12 to get the 12 marks so if you notice that question 12 is much more straightforward and the easier and you'll spend less time to get this 12 free marks thank you for joining me please uh, check out for other videos where i've done uh, one up to 12 and each question has got an episode where we explain in detail on how to answer so that you get that distinction which will make your transcript look so beautiful. Thank you very much.